All right, this is more like a recap than anything, but I wanted to recap this uh, Galactic Challenge. It was Illum Jedi bonuses for droids. Um, I actually was able to get Max Crate. Um, I did want to make this video a little bit earlier, so that way then maybe it could have been a strategy guide for some people, but didn't really quite happen. Um, I suppose it is what it is. <laughs> but anyways... I just want to go into this and just show like it was actually pretty easy I was surprised first off when it says bonuses for droids I my first thought always is like a sortie team because sortie's a newer character so you know how they are with the newer stuff like the inquisitors they push the inquisitors faction on uh galactic challenge they I mean not well yeah galactic challenge they pushed it in conquest um all this so I was just assuming, so I always assume, I mean, that they want to do a sortie team. So when my separatists actually work, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. We're keeping it old school. <laughs> Anyways, so this is the first thing that happened. I kind of just powered through this. I actually did pretty well the very first time I did this. Um, I did lose everybody. It came down to us, ver I mean, them versus Grievous. But the thing I thought was cool was, you know, Otto is always very intelligent. And it took out my whole entire... I mean, they took out a whole bunch of characters on the other side. I think they took out, like, two or three of them. And then they just left Jolie there. So then he comes along and revives everyone. I'm like, way to go, guys. I'm so glad we wasted all that time and effort to take out the rest of the squad so he can bring the, everybody back. So basically, I did two battles the first time I did this. Which means they did pretty good. They're doing, they're doing absolutely terrible now. I'm almost down to only Grievous, which didn't happen before like i said i did end up with only grievous but it was like a one-on-one -on -one at that point it wasn't a five-on-one so i'm not sure what's happening right now but uh yeah cool that's that's stupid that didn't happen last time <laughs> every time i try to record you know why does this have to be the case every single time this was a breeze the first time i did this <laughs> off camera like i said i basically went through the whole squad twice because these morons killed everybody around Jolie and then Jolie revived them all so then I had to kill them all again and like I said yes it came down to us uh, them versus Grievous I think it was like a two on one and Grievous pulled through but you saw what just happened that was ridiculous like just because I'm recording when I'm not recording I'll smooth sailing <sighs> anyways <laughs> I guess this follow-up team that I worked on is going to be a failure as well but when I did that squad, it only gave me, obviously, the droids and, obviously, complete the battle. I didn't get damage over times, and I didn't get at least one light side, one dark side. So, to try to get damage over times, um, I think I did basically the most stereotypical team you could think of, which is put Vader in there. So, Papa Palp, Vader, um, jeez, I'm pretty sure I had... Uh, Malik in there for a tank and then who else would I have added maybe him and then I'm pretty sure for my light side character just to try to keep everybody healthy <laughs> I put Hermit Yoda which I thought was kind of funny just because you know based on the lore Hermit Yoda was in hiding because of Order 66 so he wouldn't be hanging out with Papa Palp and Vader at all no. <laughs> but in an effort to keep everybody on point and healthy and able to actually get this done i figured you know he's all about heals and he's also all about um kind of mass assist i don't think it works with sith though yeah see nothing happened now also another thing that i'm you know like they say tony stark learns from his mistakes when i did this i didn't put um uh merciless massacre on i just did everybody with the force crush and then went to town and it didn't quite work that way they made me miss my turn like you know how normally you can just kind of go yeah that didn't happen like normally you can do force crush and then you can go and do merciless massacre and then take your six million turns but when i did this the first time that wasn't an option they were like okay you took your turn our turn now <laughs> so yeah anyways at least this is going a lot better than the Grievous round. Grievous round, we took out nobody, which makes no sense. Is this going to work? Come on. <laughs> Why do they? It must be just for Jedi. Um, I don't know how much damage over times I have by now, but I'm sure this has to be enough. Like, 
he's done it what three times now and so far so good nobody's died yet i mean we're getting close papa pop's getting tired over here and you know forbid if he ever takes a turn so we can do that oh good and they died so at least that round worked anyways i think that's the exact squad i used um vader should have put up enough damage over times and what was the last thing oh yeah light side dark side duh neat no dark side died and hermit yoda was still there just fine so that means i would have gotten that yeah so anyways that's the strategy that i used for some reason i thought this was a ship when i was thinking about ships the whole time before i made this video and then i was surprised it was characters <laughs> i guess that's because that's what the last galactic challenge was which i was gonna make a recap video on that as well but i don't know it just didn't happen because sometimes i think these are dumb but i was like well i haven't made a video in a while so maybe i should just make a recap video just so there's new content <laughs> anyways that's all i got for now so uh thanks for checking us out with me and until next time i said see ya